Alrighty, we about to interrogate uh Richard, whatever Pete, I mean, and see what the fuck he know. So many questions, so little time. Um let's see. How's the business doing? Was the spa making money? Sure. I mean it can always get better, right? But it was profitable. Think back. Did she ever seem unusually angry or depressed? Well, we weren't exactly close, but I got the feeling she was in a troubled relationship. Why do you think she was having Little things here and there, really. Such as? One Friday, I asked her if she had any fun plans for the weekend. Not really, she said. Just hanging out with the boyfriend. She said it like it was a, a root canal or something. It wasn't just that. I think he hit her. Why do you think that he what? hit her? Well, what? What? Portia always seemed to like showing off her body. I even had to ask her who wants to wear more than just her bikini to work. But one week, a while back, I can't remember yeah. exactly when, she wore <laughs> long sleeve shirts sure. every day and she seemed depressed. When I asked her about it, she gave me some lame excuse about needing to do laundry. But when she thought I wasn't looking, I saw her rubber arm and wrist. Yeah, I let her come in the bikini. Shit, fuck that. Come on, girl. You know what I'm saying? Go to the top shelf and get that for me. <laughs> All right, let me quit Portia. What do you know about Portia's boyfriend? Well, Portia was a very private person. I know almost nothing about her boyfriend, except what I was able to infer. Uh, you have any enemies? Is there anyone you can think of who might have had a reason to start the fire at the spa? No. I mean, who blows up a spa? She's not in the phone book. I looked. Oh, yes, I know where she lived. Let me write it down for you. I never got the chance to visit her. Here you go. So, I hate to ask, but is that everything you need from me right now? I have to come up with something to tell the board about why I let the insurance run out. Uh, and I can't really focus on that while I'm here. I think we have what we need for now. You'll be at the barber shop if we need you? I may have some errands to run, but I will be there for some time today, for sure. All right, Alex. We'll be right back, man. Don't leave town. CSI commercial break. Las Vegas Crime Lab, drop the weapon now. Shit just got real out of nowhere. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Driver's license says Brian Reed. You mind telling us why you were in Portia Weissman's apartment, Mr. Reed? It's my Some girlfriend's boyfriend. apartment. Well, ex-girlfriend is a is a yesterday. Do you break into all your ex-girlfriend's apartments? What? No, yes. I didn't break in. I have a key. I was smelling uh, your shirts. The door was bashed open, and you were standing mm. there with a sledgehammer. The door was busted in when I got there, so I grabbed the tool just in case the guy who broke in was still hanging around. Hey, just call Portia. She's angry with me, but she'll back me up. A fire. Oh God, is she okay? Unfortunately, Miss Weissman never made it out of the mud bath. The mud? You mean she... It, it can't be! Mr. Reed, we're sorry for your loss. A fire. What were you doing in the apartment? So were you tying up loose ends after you torched the spa? What? That's crazy! The only loose ends I was tying up were my toothbrush and an extra pair of underwear. And now you tell me she's gone and, and you're acting like I had something to do with it? Mr. Reed, Brian, we have no evidence implicating you right now. And we know it must be a shock to hear about Portia. We need your help to figure out what happened to her. Tell us about the hammer. I hope you can understand why we want to know the reason you were standing there with that thing. Sure, yeah, I can see how it looks. But really, it's just like I told you. I stopped by to pick up my stuff, yeah, including the, the hammer, and the door was broken open. 
I grabbed the, the, the tool for protection on the way inside. It was just inside the door. I wasn't there for more than a minute before you two showed up. Where were you last night? Can anyone verify your location between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m.? I don't think so, no. I was at home hanging out with my buddy Jack for most of the night. But by then, Jack was gone, and I was pretty much passed out on my couch. Can your buddy Jack confirm your story? Well, I try not to ask the bottle too many questions. People look at me funny. <laughs> I had to let my dog out, sorry. What do you do for a living, Brian? Does that mean you're uh, an living? alcoholic? I, uh, yeah. I'm kind of between jobs right now. You I'm got drunk and you burned the place down. But I'm not having a lot of luck. I do have a couple of leads, so, so ask me in a week, maybe. We might have some more questions for you soon. Would you mind waiting? I might as well. You probably won't get much out of me once I have a chance to start drinking. Jim, could you do a background check on Brian Reed? I called it in on the way over. I'll let you know what turns up. Let's head back to Portia Fucking Weissman's apartment. Maybe there's some evidence there that can link the break-in to the fire. Bam! Oh, I can't see that. <laughs> yeah. Footprint. I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. Fucking footprint. What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? We might have some on this. We have to document and collect that shoe impression without destroying it. A photograph should be enough. Oh. We need to find a shoe that matches this impression. It's made out of some kind of dirt. We should get a sample. We have to document and collect that shoe impression without sample, destroying man. it. A photograph should be enough. Get this fucking sample and shut up. If we can link the shoe impression to someone, then this dirt might tell us where he's been. Me and you. I don't think we're going knob. to pull any prints off of that. Uh, somebody could have touched the door now, nah, man. If somebody else really did break in, so what do you want from me, man? Some of the marks here are thin and straight, but some are circular, just like the holes in the drywall at the spa. They use the same weapon or some shit, I don't know. Storing something in the broiler pan. Guess it's a little late to warn Portia about the fire hazard. Dates and dollar amounts. It looks like a record of the spa's finances. Put this mint in evidence. This isn't just a hammer. Spot. It looks like something off a fire truck. Hey, I read a background on Brian Reed. 
Turns out that up until last week, he was a captain with the Las Vegas Fire Department. His battalion chief told me Reed had a mixed service record, multiple commendations for bravery, but the guy was also on probation for insubordination. Well, when Reed failed a random drug test last week for the use of cannabis, they fired him. This reminds me. The notorious serial arsonist John Leonard Orr was both a fire captain and an arson investigator. The case is open, and the hard drive is missing. Hmm. Interesting. Just can't look over there. No. Okay. Let's see. Well, somebody came here looking at shit. They took the fucking hard drive. They fucked the place up, looking for something. Have we looked everywhere, tested everything, asked every question we can think of? We must be missing something. I'm just not sure what it could be. I see shit up uh, on the ladder. There gotta be something up there though. I can't go over there. Dark Robin, okay, not a double. Uh, shit. Fuck that. Dark Robin's done with the top, so you don't keep it waiting. Okay. I got you. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go back. Why not go back? We're gonna go back there and uh, check out the morgue, the autopsy. Oh, what the fuck? Don't let me keep you. Say, you need no keep him waiting. What are you talking about? I'm gonna add this bitch, man. She's gonna say the same shit. some stuff about what we found. Mr. Reed, or should I call you Captain Reed? Not anymore. I'm no longer with the Las Vegas Fire Department. You can tell you were a fire fire fighter. I bet you've seen a lot of buildings burn, <laughs> and I bet you know a lot of ways to light them up. You know something, buddy? You are way to hell out of line. I devoted my life to jumping into the flames and saving people. And I lost friends in those buildings I've seen burn. So for you to sit there and insinuate that I may be an arsonist is the most offensive thing anyone has ever said to me. And Porsche? You think I said Porsche on fire? I mean, I don't know what kind of animals you people have to deal with, but that's not me. Cool story, bro. But you did get fired, bitch. Being a firefighter was obviously very important to you. So it must have hurt to lose that. Yeah, well, they were just looking for an excuse. I was actually trying to keep my head down. You were on probation. It was a tenement fire in the alphabets. Battalion chief thought the place was coming down. Ordered me not to go back in. You'd think I might earn a little slack for telling the boss to piss off, but let me save a room full of kids. And again, if I'd stopped at piss off, maybe I would've. You had a drug test? Porsche made pot brownies. Now, she says she didn't dose me intentionally, but she did leave the damn things right where I would find them, and she didn't tell me what they were. 
I ate three Sounds of them. Like I could barely get out me. of bed for like a day and a half. I don't know how she... I don't know how anyone can stand that stuff. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, Happy Monday! Go pee in a cup! I dumped her because she got me fired from a job I loved. Tell us about this tool, man. It's, it's burning. a firefighting it's tool, isn't it? It's, not a it's called the Denver tool. Firefighters use it for getting into and out of places. Places mm -hmm. like apartments? Only if and they're a spa. on fire. You didn't use your key? We think you used your Denver tool to break Porsche's door in. I told you, I got a key. Look, take it if you need it. The refute button has appeared. This means that the person you're questioning has said something that you may be able to refute by presenting an item of evidence that you found. 